has worked on such a variety of projects in the last year. Sometimes we look back and wonder how we managed to achieve all that we have. It has been thoroughly exciting and rewarding to be involved in this resident-led programme, and here you'll get a mere flavour of all that's been happening. We've always been determined to ensure that the lovely green spaces in Collyhurst are accessible and safe for families and all residents. So for this reason, we've developed a number of projects in order to achieve this. These include a walking route around Collyhurst. We recently ran a competition among all of the local schools and the winners will have their creations incorporated in the walking route markings. Other projects have included developing and supporting a lot of growing spaces around Collyhurst. My name's Erica and there have been a number of growing projects going on in Collyhurst this year. The site at the Church of the Saviour is a well-established plot run by church members and volunteers. The produce is distributed amongst the community and also is used in soups during the weekly drop-in. The big local has provided funding for a brand new polytunnel and other equipment that was needed. We have been successful with a Tesco Bag for Help campaign to ensure the site is accessible for people with disabilities. The Big Local has also developed a large growing site in the Lally Welcome Centre, which now involves a number of volunteer gardeners. The Big Local commissioned groundwork to get the site ready and the volunteers is now producing vegetables for the Lally Centre Food Bank. This project has lots of potential and will hopefully be run a successful social enterprise in the coming years. Well, it's just three to us, some people who go into the lolly to help out with uh, the gardening. So I put my name down. I mean, I enjoy a bit of gardening, so I've got a little garden myself. Uh, we're going to plant some seeds and go on the cup of the big locals. They're funding a lot of projects and different in different areas. And I think it is a good idea they're doing that. So it takes the pressure of councils which are not doing much with gardens or areas. We've also contributed to a major redevelopment of Willard Street Park in partnership with Manchester City Council. Willard Street Park has always been a hub of the community in Collyhurst, but over the years all of the play equipment has been removed so there was this big green space and we really wanted to do something with it. The friends of the park have planted apple trees and flowers, but it needed a lot more to encourage our local children to play out. We've worked in partnership with Manchester City Council to develop a wonderful new play area, Mugga and Adult Gym. When we consulted with children in all of the local primary schools, we got the resounding message that they wanted a zip wire. So now we have one of those too. Since the park opened a few weeks ago, it's been constantly full of children. They love it and so do their parents, who now have a chance to meet up and chat every day. Residents have been doing litter picks at the weekend, with Manchester City Council doing them during the week. We were all delighted with our new park, and because local children have had a say in how it was designed, we're confident that our community are going to take good care of it. As well as our green space projects, we've also had a keen interest in the local economy of Collyhurst. For this reason, we embarked on the development of a community economic development plan, which helped us to understand better the link between the well-being of residents in our area and the thriving local economy of Collyhurst too. The plan is complete now and we've started to develop some of the ideas that have come from it, such as support for business and social enterprise in the area, but we also hope to do a lot more in the coming year to deliver our plan. Local heritage is something that is very dear to many people that live in the area and also to those who have left over the years. We've supported a number of projects that have delved deeply into the past, including the Once Upon a Time publication, which was reprinted by the Once Upon a Time group recently, and the excavation of Collyhurst Hall just off Rochdale Road. Uh, the Once Upon a Time meeting come every week. I was one of the original members of the Once Upon a Time. Um, we was approached by uh, a local group, you know, which is still going. You know, it's uh, we've got like big local and what have you. very good, very good. Helped a lot of um, things that's going on around the area, you know, regenerating and the big help. I think so anyway because it's something we would never have had otherwise. Mm -hmm. it's just, you know, we just wouldn't. I mean, Collier's at one time, nothing ever got done in Collier's. So there's the big local, which is a, a big part of region, and the MCA, which we, thank God, the MCA, we're here every Monday morning, and people come from all over Manchester to our Monday morning group. It's, it's amazing, thanks to big local. Yeah, I, I think it's very good that the big local is involved and has funded it. I know that you're aiming to... Um, provide 
an interesting Collie Hearst to the people who have moved in and are not aware of, of the background of the place. Um, it, it's a lovely book. I'm, I'm very glad that I had the opportunity to buy one because it's a treasure. So the project culminated with a successful open day uh, and over 100 members of the public visited the site. There were frequent site tours by volunteers, there were heritage and community stalls and a chance for volunteers to get their hands dirty. It was a celebratory atmosphere on site, helped in no part by MCA's Kimoy and the performers, who ranged from a young rapper to the Academy of Singers. And there's now real buzz around the MCA Community Archaeology Programme and a number of sites are now being considered. All the urban crews and participating schools have already agreed to follow up workshops and our local volunteers are keen for the momentum to continue. So we embarked on a really big choral project all across Collyhurst in our first year um, and that was developed further in the second year of the delivery of our plan. We worked with the Piccadilly Symphony Orchestra who commissioned a piece called the Collyhurst Symphony and then that was introduced to all of the primary schools and also Manchester Communication Academy. We're working closely with Collier Speak Local. We started off in Miles Platin and Ancoats. Uh, we base ourselves now in St George's Community Centre, which is very much uh, historically part of Collierhurst. And we found our work branching out into that into the community of Collierhurst, into the schools, and working uh, to support uh, the Collier Speak Local scheme. Today, we will have Abbott uh, students, and we will have pupils from Saviour primary school as well. And we're working with uh, all the schools to foster youth voice and youth participation and eventually to develop the youth panel which uh, Collier's Big Local has as one of its um, working groups along with uh, its people and places groups as well. So eventually the youth panel will be fully directed and run by young people to make decisions about how some of this money that the big local provides can be allocated and spent within the community of Collierhurst. I'm here at Connections and this is an arts and crafts drop-in centre and as a PCSO I attend this and give the people who attend any opportunity that they want to bring anything up and speak to me about here but also it's a lovely time to kind of casually socialise with the local community and it brings such a, a variety of issues and jobs to deal with this kind of lovely elements of community work like this where we do like an open surgery Working with the schools, especially working with young children, is I think is key to getting through to everybody and getting the parents on side. And so, we've also been introduced to people like yourself and done lots of other community work, and I think that helps greatly. Taking that little bit of pride in the area has really, really made a difference. I mean, the estate behind us, which is the Bynes Estate, um, the community work on there is just amazing for the whole ground the gardens and stuff like that and it is lovely to see that. So hopefully with programmes that are going to continue and I do think it's a massive community engagement thing from every agency and the community. I just see it getting better and better but for me I personally feel that it's absolutely key to a lot of stuff and a lot of issues. Yeah, this is my first time here at the Lala Centre today, for the friendship group anyway. Well, I heard about it through my friends and that, through just the local community really. I came because there's people here that are worse off than me and it's just nice to get to know them. other people all walks of life. It's just, it's a nice place to come really. Oh, well, Lala Centre is wonderful and Sister Rita, she's amazing, she's a really nice woman. Max is alright as well. <laughs> yeah, Max is lovely too. Oh, I've just been playing bingo. Yeah, I've just been playing bingo. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, yeah my name's Chris, Chris Florin. Um, yeah. And how did you get involved with the Collier's Big Local? Well, I'm the local vicar of Collier's, the Anglican vicar. Um, and I was in it right from the beginning, really, when there was a steering group for just investigating the possibilities of it. So, right from the very beginning. How do you feel about the Big Local? I think it's great. <laughs> no, truly, I do think it's great. It's brought lots of um, members of the community together. Um, and it's interesting over the couple of years we've been together I've seen the ideas get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's I mean it's really encouraging that people want to take ownership of their own community I think just passing that first milestone really of actually coming um, with a common uh, set of aims um, and coming up with the title Connecting Colliers you know which sort of celebrates trying to bring the community together in all sorts of different ways families I mean physically with a geographic walkway around uh, the community food growing programs and, and and I'm of course passionate and heavily involved in a debt centre project. I'm John Folder from HMG Paints. I'm the managing director of HMG Paints. I have worked in Collarhurst all my life. Yeah I became involved I think through Sister Rita Lee. Um, uh, Sister Rita the greatest woman on the face of the earth in terms of sort of uh, uh, persu persuading people out of their uh, out of that sort of like cosy world, in my case of paint making, so it's a case of bringing everybody together. It really is. Uh, I'm a resident of 25 years in Collyhurst. Um, I've seen the, it go from bad to good to better, uh, and yeah. long might stay getting better. Just really the help that it is going to improve the whole of the Collyhurst area, not just one part of, but the whole of it. Um, it it takes into account the whole of Collyhurst. Um, and the walkthrough uh, will connect Collyhurst very well, which has been, uh, which is what I've been, the project I've been involved in. Uh, my name is Greg Lees, I work for North of Housing. And what's your connection to Collyhurst? All of it. Um, North of Housing took over the management of Collyhurst in, I think, 2000 and, ooh, just testing now, 2012. April 2012, uh, following a there was due to be a PFI for, for Collyhurst, so uh, that, that didn't happen. So we took over the management of uh, the properties in in, uh, in the area, uh, and we've invested several several million pounds in in modernising homes to decent home standards, uh, doing lots of environmental work. We've done the work the multi stories, obviously working very closely with the city council in terms of their broader master plan for Collyhurst. So yeah, heavily involved in what's going on locally. And how did you get involved with the Collyhurst local? Um, found out about Big Local through conversations with uh, Manchester Communications Academy and obviously the work that they've been doing locally. Um, obviously wanted to get involved in, in the partnership in terms of supporting local communities to, uh, to, to improve resilience of the local community and help um, Help them in terms of what they want to do with it, with the, with the money. Really, there's lots of money being spent on the environment. We were doing as an organisation, so looking at how we can uh, use the money through Big Local a bit differently, uh, create employment opportunities, and, and, and the work that Chris mentioned earlier on around food growing, connecting the communities, and, and, and building uh, uh, building on the health and well-being agenda that needs to needs to be uh, considered local. Uh, the thing I like about the, the Big Local is that it's the community coming up with with ideas, and it's it's kind of over to, over to over to you guys really in terms of what it is you want to do with it with the money. Obviously, we're here as, as, as as kind of professionals in terms of our day-to-day -day work, but it's, it really is the community that's driving the partnership, which is, which is great to see. Many of our projects have been really great fun, and we strive to ensure that residents feel that Collyhurst is a great place to live and is getting better. We're taking steps towards that goal every day, but there are some more complex issues that also must be dealt with. We have funded an advice and information worker who is based at the Lally Welcome Centre, who helps Collyhurst residents that are in need of practical help or advice. Reverend Chris Fallone has also been busy establishing a face-to-face -face debt centre called Gateway at Church of the Saviour. And this is something that the Big Local has been really keen to support through funding and by helping with publicity and any other way that we can. Financial inclusion can have a positive effect on people's lives and can really help to deal with some of the more complex issues. Mm -hmm.